All right, so here's something we get quite a bit. Um, I have a storyline file. I'm the only storyline author. I need to send um, the file out to be edited by a subject matter expert. Maybe you need to send it to the legal team. They want to go through every single word, right? Sometimes that happens. Or my client wants to go through the course and then they have enough edits that it's easier for them to edit the file than it is for me. Uh, the challenge is how do I do that if they don't have a license of storyline? So let me show you an easy way to do that. So we'll do two things. One is the author or the subject matter expert or the reviewer, they need to be able to see a published version of the course. So what you would do is you publish your course first. Uh, we'll go ahead and publish it uh, to Review360. I'm going to call this um, PowerPoint or that's not what I wanted to do. I want to SME edit right demo. So we've got that. So I've got my SME edit demo. I'm going to publish that and I'm going to publish that to review 360. I'm only using eight slides. So we're going to go ahead and publish that project. And so that's going to go up to review 360. And then the uh, subject matter expert now has a um, version of the course that they can go through and review. Now they can always add comments and stuff in review if they wanted to, uh, but they're going to do edits uh, and you're going to have an easy way for them to do the edits for you. So let's go ahead and view that project. All right, so here's that project right now. Um, I would go through it and you can see I can click on it. And if I'm in review, then I can offer feedback. So the subject matter expert can offer the feedback. In this case, we don't really care about the feedback as much as their ability to edit these slides. So if they come in here, we want them to be able to edit the slides. So let's go back to Storyline. And in Storyline, what I can do is I can export this for translation. So we have this file translation feature. So what I'm going to do is export this for translation. That's going to open it up as a Word doc. And I'm going to go ahead and save this here. And what it's going to do is it's going to take everything, all the text based content in a storyline that we can edit and it's going to be in a Word doc. And so I can send that to the subject matter expert and they just need to edit that in the Word doc and then I'm going to bring that back in. And so I'll show you how that would work. So in an ideal world, I'd split my screen on one half of the screen. I'm going to have my published course. On the other half of the screen, I'm going to have my Word doc and then I can go through and review that. So we'll see if I can do that here in the screen capture because I'm not using my full screen mode. So here's my Word doc and you can see uh, the way that Word doc looks. And let's just make this a little bit smaller so it works for the uh, tutorial here. Um, here's my original text for reference. I'm not going to edit this and here's the column where I can edit the text, right? So um, what we want to do is look at this. You can see it's all in here. These are your slides and you can just go through these in order and then you would edit those. Now this is all generic content so it's a little bit harder to figure out what's there, right? Um, but in your real course, you're going to recognize the content better. And if you're looking for something specific, you can just find it, right? So if I'm looking for the word distinguish, right? I know I need to find that. I would just go ahead and start typing in distinguish and you can see it's going to highlight that for me and then I can make those edits. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at how I would do this if I was the subject matter expert. We'll assume that this is my split screen. So on half the screen, I'm going to have my Word document here, right? Uh, we'll just put it over here. And on the other half, I'm going to have my course. I'm going to scrunch this up here. Um, we'll, we'll assume that this looks good. I'm going to turn off comments so we get a little bit more a better view. So we'll say this looks good. We can turn off the menu as well. And so then I would just go through the screen. So I go through this screen and say, oh, you know, course title needs to say something different. Let's just call this new course title, right? And I'm going to go through here. We'll go title layout. Um, I can see here's title layout. Uh, let's go here and we'll call it title layout demo, right? Uh, we go through here and you can see instructions layout. I just find that you can see kind of how 
those things play out. Now, again, your course is going to be easier to parse all this because you're going to know what's in there. This is all generic content. But you can see I can go through here. We'll just call this one uh, demo as well. Maybe they all need to have demo. Uh, let's look for um, something. We'll do anytime there's a number four, we want to type that out, right? So this is a good, uh, what do I want to do here? I want to find a control F here. Let's do control F. We're going to find and replace, right? We're going to do the number four. Now this is going to be all over the place. So we don't want to, we don't want to change everything, but we can say, you know, in places like this, um, we can see where, where it needs to be changed. And so we'll say, okay, in this one, um, I need to change it to four. I don't even know where this is happening. And then, uh, and then you could go through that that way. So you can use the find and replace to do things. Um, we did that right before instructions layout. That's something to keep in mind. And then you can change any text you want to change in here. Really, really doesn't matter. You can see there's even some formatting. I wouldn't mess with that. Let's say you're happy with that. All you're going to do is hit save. And now we're going to come back into PowerPoint, into Storyline. And um, what we're going to do is go to File, Import, or not Import, Translations. And then we're going to do Import. We find our file and we're going to go ahead and import that. And this is importing that file, so everything should come in here. And then it's going to make all those edit changes. And that's basically it. So. You can publish the course, subject matter expert, get your Word document. You can make edits, to have them make the edits, and then you can import that. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. And now you can see there's my new course title, right? There's my demo. Um, there's my title for now. Obviously, you can see as I start to add more characters, it's potentially going to interrupt my course. So I have to know that, right? Uh, but you can see that's how I would do that. And then I have my updated and edited course. So it's pretty straightforward. Publish it somewhere so they can see a published version. Review works really well. And then what I would do is publish the Word, or not publish the Word. I would export the uh, translation, give them that document. They can go through the course. They can make any text edits they need to make. And then you're just going to re-import those, and then you're going to be done. What I would probably do is I would make a SME copy of the course, and then this way they're not messing up your original course if something gets messed up. But that's easy enough uh, to fix. Hopefully that helps and something that you can do.